Firefighters around the state once again busy with multiple brush fires after several broke out the past few days. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issuing another warning today, saying the fire danger level remained high, which proved to be the case. There were brush fires in West Haven, Sprague, Norwich, Suffield, Brantford and North Brantford. NOAA says strong winds and low relative humidity helped start the fires. In West Haven, firefighters found a well-involved fire in the woods at Maltby Lakes. Fire officials say it happened around 930 this morning in the Regional Water Authority area, which is part of its watershed area. Orange, Derby and West Haven fire departments were on the scene to fight the blaze. West Haven's fire chief says the winds helped intensify the fire by fanning the flames. Anytime you... The snow is gone and the wind starts whipping it up and it dries all the top layer off quickly. Deputy Chief Esposito said the fire was contained and only hot spots remained. A brush fire happened at the Beacon Hill Preserve in Brantford around 5 p.m. After an hour, firefighters couldn't contain, so mutual aid was called in from East Haven and Guilford. The fire was eventually controlled. No one was injured. And in Sprague, Baltic firefighters found a brush fire on Plain Hill Road. Multiple fire companies had to help out with this blaze. Officials say no one was hurt fighting the fire. Suffield, Windsor Locks and East Granby fire departments took on a brush fire on Kent Avenue. Firefighters say it started spreading rapidly before it was under control. And in Fairfield, the strong winds rapidly accelerated a house fire, which ended up spreading to two more homes next door. It happened shortly after midnight on Ruane Street. Numerous firefighters were on the scene to help extinguish the fire. Officials say fast acting neighbors who called 911 and alerted sleeping residents that their home was on fire possibly prevented multiple deaths from happening.